Welcome to the Parts-Based Government Data Platform. In this video, we will be showcasing the Contract Bidding Tool, a powerful feature designed to help you search for and manage government bid opportunities effectively. How to access. Select Government Data, then Contract Bidding. Before we begin, let's understand what the drop-down options under Contract Bidding are for. Rule Summary. The Rule Summary drop-down lists all the rules you've created to indicate your interest in specific opportunities. You can use this feature to track specific opportunities across the various DoD bid boards. Checking the Yes, Please Match solicitations against my active inventory will automatically match your listed inventory against your rules and opportunities. To create a new rule, select Create Matching Rule. Review your options. Select the criteria you would like to monitor. Name your rule. and then add it to your list of rules. The system will start looking for solicitations that match your criteria automatically. Notify on match. This dropdown works in tandem with the rules. When you create a rule, you can set up notifications for any new solicitation matches. You can choose to match all your rules or select specific rules to receive notifications only for certain opportunities. Note that notifications are sent a day early, so the solicitation may not appear immediately on the external government sites like DIBs. If there are new jobs that meet your criteria, setting up notifications within Notify on Match will keep you informed about these solicitations without needing to search actively. Contract Opportunities. This option will show you solicitations that are currently open for bid or have been available for bid in the past. This tool is crucial for identifying and reviewing opportunities where you can bid, select the solicitation number, and review historical pricing and the number of previous offers. The current search tab displays solicitations that match your established rules. Once a solicitation passes its close by date, it will no longer appear here and can be found in the BSM expired search you won't see relevant matching solicitation data until you set up your rules in the Contract Bidding Rule Summary dropdown. Once your rules are set, your results will appear in the grid. You can use dynamic filters at the top to refine your search further. For example, if you're interested in seeing woman-owned set-aside bids, you can set that filter from set-aside, or you can also filter to see solicitations with a delivery time greater than or equal to 70 days by filtering with days to delivery. You can stack or layer your filters to narrow down your results even more. To save your filters, select the Options dropdown where you can name your filter and save it under the All Matching Solicitations dropdown for easier access to your preferred matches. To clear your filters, select the Clear Applied Filters icon. To remove an individual filter, click the red X next to it. You can add or remove filters and grid columns by selecting the gear icon. Note, the default view only shows eight filters, and you'll need to click Select All to view more options. You can select results you no longer wish to see, then, select the trash can icon to delete these items from your results grid. You can also go back to the trash can icon to view deleted items from the results grid. You can select multiple solicitations and export your results by selecting the Export button or Send to Batch. All solicitations are clickable by selecting the blue highlighted solicitation number. You can review details like set-aside information, approved manufacturer lists, historical pricing, the number of offers received in the past, parts-based availability, and more. 
you can select View Actual Solicitation to review the full solicitation. To print the solicitation number report, select the print icon. To export it, select Export. You can also select Add to Favorites to review the solicitation later. The My Favorites folder will be displayed after saving. From within the solicitation report, you can use the Back or Next buttons to move to the next matching solicitation on your list, or select Return to Results to return to your results grid. When you're ready to submit a bid, selecting the Submit Bid Action button will take you to the DLA Internet Bid Board system. To submit a bid, ensure that you are logged into the respective government site, as bids cannot be submitted directly through Partspace government data. If the action field is blank, it means the solicitation is not yet available for bidding. Global Search functions similarly to Current Search, but it displays all US DOD opportunities regardless of your saved searches. You don't need to alter your rules. Global Search allows you to find additional opportunities beyond those that match your criteria. Current Search is limited to the rules you set in the Rules Summary dropdown. All filtering functionality mentioned on Current Search can also be done in Global Search as well. If you're unable to locate the solicitations you're looking for in current search, you can use global search to find solicitations that might not match your specific rules. Just like with current search, you can access the solicitation number and NSN report by selecting the blue highlighted links. BSM expired search displays open solicitations that have passed their expires on date but are still open for bidding. The list will show all solicitations that were supposed to have closed and been awarded by now, but are still open to solicit more companies. Once a solicitation passes its expires on date, it is removed from the current and global search and moved into this list. The filtering functionality in BSM expired search works the same way as in current search and global search. The solicitation number and NSN reports are available for review in the results grid. Thank you for using our platform we look forward to supporting your success. If you need any further assistance or have any questions, please contact us at pbgovservice at partsbase.com.